gonna look great. Oh, this shouldn't be that hard. She has no idea I'm doing this. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. Whoa. So my sister Ashley is going on a few days, a little staycation, okay? And I figured while she's gone, why don't I just completely make over the office and surprise her? Okay, so my inspo for this is a thousand percent whoever is responsible for decorating Kylie Cosmetics headquarters. But I actually want it without all of the pink, which obviously that's super cute, but it's just not really me or my style. And when you really look close, the whole offices are pretty much just minimal black, white, but this room specifically, I was like, this is so cute i love the black wall i love the very minimal like super open workspace for different people so that's the inspo you've been following me on my second channel i have a vlog channel and i've kind of been documenting us making over the office but it's been taking like a year because you know, shit gets expensive. <laughs> I filmed a little bit of it. We wanted to get rid of our two desks that we have because one, it just became this place where you just put shit on. It was always messy. To be honest, this is what it looks like most of the time. This usually <laughs> happens. We had this room decorated in 2017 and honestly, I feel like our styles are just so different now. It's so visually cluttered. Like the lines on the wall with the shiplap, the prints, the lines in the desks, the bookshelves. Also, our team has expanded a little bit. As you guys know, Ashley and I are the co-founders of Parallel Apparel, which we just had a restock. We also introduced a new color, shadow. It's gorgeous. Parallelapparel.com, link down below. So side note, but obviously with that, you know, Ashley and I are not doing every single thing ourselves when it comes to running that brand on top of our own personal brands so i really wanted to get rid of those two desks and get more of a conference type table so when assistants or people come over we can kind of all like brainstorm together and work together it took me a while but i found the perfect table oh my god the table looks so fucking good I love it. This is from Crate and Barrel, if you're wondering. I'm also really excited because this one was actually more inexpensive than most of their tables, and I am obsessed with it. Are you ready to see the table? Yeah. Yes. One, two, three. It's it perfect. Is so sleek. Okay. People say things are sexy, and you're always like, that's weird. Like, how can a table be sexy? But, like, this is sexy. sexy. Oh my God, I also found these perfect black leather desk chairs. Nice. Damn. These chairs are so nice. Yeah. They're I so comfy. <gasps> Oh, they're the so comfy. Now, other than the table and the chairs, nothing's been done. So obviously when Ashley said she was gonna be leaving, I saw this as an amazing opportunity. So I need to talk through my vision for this room. I really wanted to take off all of this shiplap. I really loved it a few years ago, but as time has gone on, I just felt like it didn't really fit this wall that much. I was wanting to do this lime wash paint of a light darkish gray to where it looks like it's cement. Then I was thinking, instead of finding a painter who uses that technique, because <laughs> if you know, you know, I don't have the best luck finding painters. I was actually scammed $700. <clears throat> Why don't we just do a wallpaper? Then I was looking at wallpaper. I actually found some that I really, really, really liked and we got a quote and it was about $10,000. So quickly scratch that idea because just with a no. And then the more that I started thinking, I was like, holy shit. It's gonna be so much work to take all of this wood down. So instead of going through all the trouble of taking down every single piece of wood, why don't we just paint? Also side note, the paint I chose, you know, let's just say it's definitely gonna be an accent wall. I'm in the garage and this is where we hid the paint. It's so heavy, what the fuck? Okay, time to see the color. So even though obviously we know that we don't need a man, you know, that excludes um, our dads. I had my dad drive out so he can help me paint because I don't wanna do all this by myself. So, how do I do this? <laughs> do we pour it or do we take the whole thing off? Yeah, so, there's one, there's one. Watch out, bro, bro. Okay. <clears throat> See, I could have cut that out and acted like I did it all by myself, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Color reveal in. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's gonna look good. That's why we're just doing the one wall. O M G. It's gonna be so pretty. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. I don't think you'll see the boards. That's okay. We will. We will. It's okay, gonna be perfect. Ashley has no idea. I'm excited. I know some of you are judging me and you're like, oh, this is gonna be a horrible idea. Don't worry. I found some inspo on Pinterest. Super cute. I think it's gonna look really good. I feel like it's in my head. It's gonna look great. Oh 
I think this is gonna look really good. The freaking lines though are kind of hard. I love how I went from bright pink in the living room to now black over here. Maybe, you know, this is just my emo phase. It's not a phase, mom. I keep finding spots that I thought I got. Oh my. This is gonna look really good. It looks so like chic. This looks expensive. Guys, it is time for the iconic Polaroid wall to come down. Started taking off some and realized this is a moment, you know? We need to mourn this together. Ah, uh, me eating an acai bowl in Hawaii. Ah. Uh. Ollie and I. Oh my God, the iconic like first ever merch launch at the Pink Motel. That's crazy. Oh my God, my like channel rebrand. Coachella, the iconic BMW. Look at Ashley looking like a freaking blogger. Good news is our wine um, cabinet Sidebar. I don't even know what it's technically called. This was scheduled to come on a Friday and it ended up coming today. Ashley comes in two days and I'm really hoping we can get everything done. But of course, there's a little bit of bad news. This is what I thought was coming. This is what actually came. It uh, did not come put together as I thought it would. So I'm really, really hoping this isn't a bitch to put together. Wish me luck. This shouldn't be that hard. Okay, a lovely hour and a half later, we're almost done. We're almost done, Ro. Oh gosh. Hey? Hmm. Why is it going in? Help. Later. Ladies and gentlemen, with only one scratch and one completely broken nail, I give you. Please don't break it, please don't break it. The new piece of furniture that, to be honest, now I'm wondering if it's gonna fit. What? It fits perfect! Oh my god, it fits almost too perfectly. Like, look at this. This is insane. In the photo, it's definitely used for wine, which we may put some bottles here, but I really feel like this is gonna be more for coffee appliances. I really did break a nail, look at this shit. Okay, update on the bookshelves. I was really excited because I was actually gonna move these to the gym for storage and I ordered new ones. However, they don't come for another week and a half. And I was thinking, Alicia, why don't you just save your money? Like, let's at least try to make these work. So, I first thought about painting and then realized, even though we have leftover paint, I don't know how well this would look. So then, because you know, if you ever watched me in my DIY era. And now for a quick little DIY room decor. I thought maybe we can like, you know, washi tape this shit. Now it's not washi tape, it is electrical tape. Not only have we glown up with our DIYs, also these supplies that we use. Thinking of just kind of covering the edge of the bookshelves and then we can kind of see if that will look better. It just literally feels so weird. It feels like my old DIY era. Oh my God. Why does that actually look really good? These shelves are like the perfect width of this tape. Oh my God. Okay, I'm heading to Best Buy to hopefully find a TV that we can mount on the wall. I'm also in desperate need of lamps to swap out the gold ones that are there right now. Answer your photo. Lot to do. Ashley comes home tomorrow, so hopefully, hopefully we got this. I think we found. I kind of like the one big pendant. Oh my God, there's so many. Okay, West Elm had some options. However, they were a little more expensive than I wanted to buy. I've now made it to an outlet store to get some lights. And I'm really feeling good, guys. I really think we're gonna find something. <laughs> we bought a light and I'm so excited to show you. This was at the lights outlet store that I went to this morning. It was on clearance. Don't snooze on the clearance section, guys. Oh. This is dope. It's a very modern looking hexagon. I don't know. I think this was like 200 something. And it was the last one, so 
you know we don't need no man. Um, however, we do need a certified electrician. So he's coming over here in I think less than 30 minutes. He should be here pretty soon. And I am dying to see what the room is gonna look like with this light. I really feel like it's gonna add a much more minimal vibe. Okay, next stop, home goods. I'm looking for little knickknacks we can put on both of the bookshelves because I really think I'm just gonna keep the ones that we have. But a lot of the decor we had before was definitely more boho. We're needing to spice things up. So hoping we find some things. I found this, which is pretty cool. That was a huge success. Also, you guys are very familiar with these prints that are always in the back of my vlogs or my videos. This is actually from a friend's site called Raw and Rebellious. She's so sweet and she actually gave me some more prints for the office and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna show you which ones I picked out. Oh, the first one looks like this. This is an Ia in Santorini. Okay, this one's just iconic because you'll see why. <laughs> How cute is that? And then this one is, I think this one's in Italy. I'm trying to decide if I wanna go cutesy and girly with like these types of photos. It is like a black wall, which is very more masculine-ish. I think some of the more girly prints could kind of balance it out. Or I could just put the other, uh, I don't know. But let's frame these babies. Got these frames from Michaels. Welcome to the part of the video where I show you everything that I bought from Home Goods. All this is meant to go on the bookshelves. And to be honest, I don't know if these will look good. Okay, I actually really liked these. I thought this was really cool because it kind of matched the light that I got for the room. Oh, I got some organization bins for the wine slash coffee bar area. I got another one of these little thingies. The next thing I got was this big ass candle because obviously the room is so big. Um, I put a little candle there just to kind of visualize it. And I was like, this looks stupid. It definitely needs something bigger. This whole thing was only $29, 48 ounces. This is massive. <coughs> I promise it smells good. I just had to cough. It's black fig and birch. Next. Oh, okay. I knew that these would look really good. There were these little boxes, kind of a really cool, I don't know, little detail on them. So I got the larger one and then I figured I could put the smaller one on top. Like so. The last thing I got, um, the girl also at the checkout was like, oh, this is really cool. If it doesn't work as a vase, it can work as a toilet seat. Now I can't unsee it. I don't know. I was like, is this cool? Does this look dope? Okay guys, TK is right around the corner. She's heading over and she has no idea that any of this was happening. So I'm gonna get her reaction. I'm so excited. Ashley's on her way home from Palm Springs. So she should be here in about two hours. I'm so excited. Close your eyes. What are you doing? Open. Okay. Oh my. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. Whoa! I love the black. I like the black better than the gray. I love the black a lot. It's a completely different place. Stop. Oh my, oh my god. god. That looks so good. <laughs> this is like parallel headquarters. Welcome to our brand new office. I'm kind of freaking out. Do I have a calling? Should I be a designer? Actually, no. Clearly, it took me a year to do this. I love how everything turned out. I feel like this wall is everything and more than what I wanted. I initially did order like a little credenza to kind of go here for more storage. But honestly, I'm loving just the TV. Like I'm obsessed with it. This is so nice for like parallel. Like how legit do we look? So fun, even for like meetings or Zooms or whatever. I love it. Also the table. Obviously this has been here for a little bit, but we're obsessed. We put this little chrome vase on it. And to be honest, I think the one thing that really put this whole entire room together, really brought it to life is right above me. This lovely light. I love it. It really like transforms this room. I was initially planning on just spray painting our old one and I'm glad I didn't because I feel like this was so much better. Also, these chairs are so comfortable. I feel like I need heels and I can just be like, the bookshelves turned out great. I'm so happy we were able to save some money and just have the ones that we already had. Like Loki, the electrical tape, it stayed, surprisingly. I don't know how, but it has, so. And of course, 
this lovely coffee corner slash wine corner over here. Also, the size of this guy is really growing on me. I was a little nervous at first. I feel like once we put the frame up and the print, it just kind of balanced it out, especially with the TV and stuff. So I love it. But yes, that is the brand new office. I am like low key. I'm still freaking out about it. I love coming here and working. I do wanna do my room soon because I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a frat house because my mattress is just on the floor right now and it's a disaster. So comment below if you want to see a room transformation up in my bedroom, go subscribe to the vlog channel and don't forget that Pretty Basic now also has video form. I will have it linked in the description box. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. On a big fancy car with the top back and shopping bags filled to the brim in the back seat. I'm going fast, spinning my wheels, keeping it real, feeling the feelings I feel.